What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today is an exciting day. We are watching the second to last episode of the Umbrella Academy Season 2. So this is episode 9. Uh, the first 8 episodes are already uploaded to the channel. If you've not seen them, you can go back and enjoy. If you are a new viewer here, then thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you are returning, then thanks so much for your continuation and your support. Whether it's on this series or the Modern Family series or whether it's been on Lucifer or anything on my channel. Thank you so much. If you do enjoy today's video, then please hit the like button. Uh, to recap last episode. Episode, we had Diego at the commission. He's seen that uh, Vanya caused an explosion in the FBI building, which she's getting tortured at currently. Um, and then John F. Kennedy didn't get assassinated, and he thought that explosion was the Russians, which then he attacked them, and they attacked back, and that caused the apocalypse. So that's an interesting twist. And we ended the last episode with Harlan feeling pain that Vanya was feeling now this must have been from when she gave him mouth to mouth at the lake when he went inside and some droplets went into him um, and she um, opened her eyes and they glowed and then it cut to Harlan and then he was doing the same, he was shaking in his bedroom and his eyes changed like he was possessed as well and we ended on that cliffhanger so I cannot wait to jump into this episode, if you do enjoy uh, please subscribe to the channel hit the like button, it really helps me out and thanks very much and let's just jump right in and have some fun Fucking hell. I think Ben needs to go me. He's a ghost. I wonder if he can possess Klaus and walk through. Or I wonder if he can go in there and do something. Surely he can touch things and turn the machine off or, or something like that, surely. Go on, Klaus. Fucking hell. All of them have been knocked out. Fucking come on, mate. What a shout that was. That was an absolute fantastic shout. I'm loving it. Ah, mate, I'm well proud of myself here. I mean, he, he might not be able to do anything, but that is... Oh, mate, I'm actually so happy. Come on. What a shout. He's going to kill me, isn't he? What? He's sick five. He knows everything. He's so clever. He's going to kill you. <laughs> Mate, I wonder how Lila's going to break the news that she's lost Diego already. Like, the handler's just going to literally turn around and say, Mate, I fucking told you. Now go and kill him. <laughs> How's your new hire working out? I heard he lasted all of ten minutes in orientation before he started running amok. You put a knife to my throat. Go on. <laughs> Diego commandeered the infinite switchboard, then hijacked the briefcase, and left the commission. Let me handle it my way. Oh shit, he knows that that's uh, his old boss. Thumb screws burning. Did I need to know that I could trust you? Mmm, she's letting power go to her head, mate. Mate, now I'm just gonna throw this absolutely out there like fucking a stone thrown into a pond, mate. Imagine if Ben somehow touches her, right, and just bangs, goes into Harlan's body, and then he's got control of the kid how mental would that be that would absolutely be sick what's wrong baby i will help you oh shit me don't tell me ben's took over his body like i just said well it's intense this mate honestly you are gonna take my son from me they'll never give him back well maybe you don't deserve him anymore Oh, here we go. This is the first lash out that we've got. Maybe you should watch how you talk to me. Are you really going to kill him? No, oh, shit. Nothing. Oh, look at that. It's well oh, cute. <laughs> Something I have to show you. Something big. Oh, he's going to... Ah! <laughs> that innuendo was sick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, right? I don't get how Vanya is absolutely pulsating through that FBI building and nobody from the outside has even seen it through the windows or nobody has yeah, acknowledged it whatsoever. Cause it must have been going on for ages because you had Klaus, Diego, and um, I always forget a name, man, Allison. 
uh, who's gone there, and then they've been there for ages. They've been knocked out. Ben's took over her body. Um, then these guys have been going to sniper the um, John F. Kennedy, and then all this is still going on, and she's still in the building, and it's not ever been seen or acknowledged once, which is strange. Oh, shit, he's going into the into the stuff that she was... Oh, I wonder if he's going to go and see the dad. Like, what has she seen? What's wrong with me? There's actually nothing wrong with you. She's been provoked this time. That's actually true. When she wakes up, she'll see that four of them are there. At least this time I get to say goodbye. Oh, mate, he's sacrificing himself, man. What a guy. Can you hug me as I go? Oh, he wants feeling, doesn't he? Mate, I'm fucking well sad, man. I don't know if you can go back into previous episodes, but I've been saying I can't wait for Ben to be seen by everyone. I can't wait for him to come back. I want to see what Ben does, you know? I wish Ben was here. And now, look, boom, he comes in, he does a fucking noble thing. He goes in, tries to save the world, and now he's going to die himself. I'm fucking devastated. I definitely hope that he's inside Harlan. I really, really, really do. So that when they jump back, that he can be in a new body. Just like five was. I know it's like, it's a bit strange and stuff, but I feel sorry for him. Like if he's not in the next season, then he's been, he's done well for the parts that he's, he's been able to do as a ghost. I will miss him. He's a good, he's a good character. Oh, RIP Ben, man. That is true, mate. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and believing that you're going to get a different outcome. That she is true. <laughs> you love her? Yeah, you she, probably, she probably does. Right by you. Do you know what, right? I said this. He has done... He has handled this maturely with Vanya and with her so far all the way up to episode 9. But I did say, I think in the episode where... He gave Vanya the keys that there's going to be a lash out at some point because he's handling it too well. And to be fair, he's handled it like a really good guy, but he's getting provoked now and he's going to lash out. I reckon he's going to try and kill her or hurt her and it's not going to end well for him. I still think that that kid might have been inside him, so I'm going to be interested to see how this plays out as well. Oh, fucking hell. Oh! What the fuck? Oh, holy shit, mate. Oh, he's dead. Mate, he killed himself. How mad is that? Like, whoa, what the fuck, mate? Is, do you reckon that he knew he was doing that? Or that it was just an instant body reaction? That is absolutely mental. And that scene was sick, mate. It looked well good. Oh, fucking hell, man. There's no way he's give her that. Wow. He's gone straight for the fucking heart. That is some deep fucking info. Like, that guy's just give her, man. Because, like you say, she said that her parents died in, in a robbery, but she didn't. The fucking handler went in and murdered him. we seen it, and she was the one that took Lila. Oh, mate, that guy's give her some... Big, juicy, fucking bollocks of information, mate. I cannot believe he's given that. That's crazy. <laughs> mate, this episode, mate, is getting good. There's fucking 15 minutes left, mate, and I cannot wait to see what fucking pans out now. Oh, shit, mate. Killer Prude, who stamped it? Oh, she did. I've killed my family. Oh, fuck. The twist. Lila, oh, please be playing her. Please be fucking playing her, mate. So, like, you can get her at the end at some point. Oh, mate. This fucking episode is twist and turning. Oh, it was five. It's all right. Just to recap. The handler must have signed off that execution using somebody else's stamp because it is clear that she stamped it and she authorised it and Five is the one that did go and kill it. So the information that Lila was provided is correct. The sheet has not been tampered with or falsified in any way. It was the exact stamp that she put on it 
and it what it does detail that five was a person that executed her parents but obviously it turns out that the stamp that was approved was not the handler's it was not the handler's stamp it was aj's i wonder if that's the guy who's um who's the fish i don't know i don't know who aj is but lila i understand she's she's using the the base of her information so she probably doesn't know that the handler was the one that authorized it but now it's crazy like i hope that diego doesn't die I, I mean i really hope diego doesn't die but i want lila to be in the next season i think it, it, her character has improved diego so much but her character is good as well like she's just a good standalone character mate it is getting good now uh, that's fucking horrid mate uh, you are not gonna shoot young five <laughs> do, you <know> what? <laughs> do you know what this video is? Last time I seen her, she's pulsating in a chair, killing everyone. And the next time they wake up, she's just stood in front of him, like, you guys, you guys all right? You sound like like Klaus is saying physically or like, emotionally. Like, which one? Fuck it up. He's going to be absolutely devastated when he finds out Ben's dead. Oh, he's going to take his dad. That's not his dad. Oh, he's fucking conned him. Oh, he's done it. I told you so. Kennedy problem was solved. He was not to be touched. That was the deal. Wow. Wow, how interesting is that? So, their dad was against the assassination. I mean, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get the whole story now and um, what their actual plot was against because obviously, so far up to this episode, they have played it out like Reginald was part of a group that wanted to assassinate him, but they must have had a, or he must have had a bigger plan. And I wonder what it is. So I, ho I hope that we find it out now. But they're in the location that Reginald invited all of the seven, so that they must know that they hang out there. So if I was Diego, that would be the first place I would go looking. So it'd be interesting. I wonder if Diego goes in and assassinates all these. When we do arrive, five or six years from now, your interests on the dark side of the moon won't be affected. Keep giving us that fancy technology of yours. And why would I do that? Because if you don't, they're gonna tell him that he killed him. Tell the world who you really are. What's going on here? I'm fucking well interested. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, what is going on here? Wow. Have you shown this to anyone else? No, only you. This guy's getting killed now. I wonder if what he's witnessing there is Reginald killing everybody and that's disrupted the whole flow of the timeline. Call all personnel from the field. We're going to war. Wow. Is that Harlan, you reckon? Mate, all I can say is holy shit, mate. Was this a good episode? I would. Fuck. Mate, this is probably one of the best episodes of season one season two mate it is sick there is so much information that's happened in this episode first of all we need to say r.i.p to ben hopefully he's not dead but if he is what a great guy man he sacrificed himself so Vaughn, you can come back into present day we've got carl who finally died but he accidentally shot harlan who done some self fucking survival repel of the the bullet boom straight into his dad dead mate we had um we had reginald turns out to be some sort of alien and he's just killed every single person lila has now found out that her mum and dad was actually murdered and the person that signed it off was aj the fish who <laughs> who the handler has just eaten and then she knows that five was the assassinator so she's going to go after him she thinks diego's playing her she's going to go after try and kill five i really pray that she doesn't die i really really like her um there's so much going on and i am loving it there's only one episode left and i'm not sure what to expect because 
Like, shit's just got crazy. It's absolutely crazy. The handlers just picked up the phone there and said, get ready, we prepare for war. So I'm expecting all hell breaks loose next episode, and I cannot wait. So if you guys have enjoyed today's episode and watched it all, please tell me what you think. You know, were you like me, excited? Were you shocked? Because, man, there's loads of times in this, this episode that I was speechless and trying to gather the information that was coming at me. I mean, oh, it was crazy. I'd done a good call on Ben being able to go in and um, and get Vanya, but sadly, he, if he has passed away, then that wasn't really uh, a good good thing to happen. But thank you very much for checking out my video today. It really does mean a lot. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys.